it's just so beautiful. It's a place where you can just like walk with your families on a nice day. It's just nice to watch all the wildlife around here and sometimes go canoeing. I think it's nice to go out on a nice bike ride and look at the river and just say, wow. The Sturgeon River watershed is one of 12 sub watersheds within the North Saskatchewan watershed itself. Well, the Sturgeon River for uh, people in St. Albert is like the heart of our community. So it was established around the river uh, 100, over 150 years ago. Is that over the last probably 50 to 100 years, there have been a number of changes in the watershed. So when we look at water quality, when we look at flow rates, um, and then when we look at even fish species communities, we know that there have been changes over the last 50 to 100 years. And those are some of the things that concern us. Fish are an indication of the health of the watershed, the proverbial canary in the coal mine. And if you have trouble with your fish, it's an indication that you have troubles in the watershed. In Owl Lake used to support fish, and it seems like for the last six years now, we can't support fish any longer in that lake, which is really unfortunate. Agriculture to development of land causes runoff of nutrients into the water, uh, cottage development, all these things can increase the nutrients. So we've been working on a number of things over the last four to five years. Uh, we started out actually assessing stream crossings in the watershed. Uh, we were interested in where their fragmentation of the river was an issue. And that means basically areas where you have culverts or bridges that impede the movement of fish. It's a great location for us to have our students uh, involved. It's close, uh, so logistically it's quite feasible to get students out working in the watershed. So when you look at rivers and watersheds, um, ideally you want to have a buffer. Generally the standard is about a 30 meter buffer on a river this size. And so you try to keep your native species, your native habitat within that distance from the water. And there's a lot of benefits that come with that. Yeah, this is what we like to see. Uh, lots of vegetation with a good root system that holds the sediment, it holds the nutrients and it stops it from getting rapidly into the, uh, into the river. You know, I think probably the, the main milestone that we've seen is just working with communities and working with stakeholders. There's a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of commitment and passion from people that live in the community and win the watershed towards uh, having a positive impact. Well, biological sciences is a very hands-on program. Students can actually come out and uh, apply some of the classroom materials, the lecture materials that they've been learning, and uh, practice it in our watershed, in their backyard, and that's pretty exciting for them. Well, our primary goal is to take some of the restoration strategies that are being proposed uh, and to test those. So to come up with some best management practices around restoration, riparian restoration. Nate has definitely fulfilled a, a, a big need in terms of collecting data on a watershed-wide basis and providing that strong foundation for moving forward. There's many benefits to the work they've done. Uh, th they've created very good relationships with the various stakeholders in the watershed because this is a cumulative effects problem. There's multiple sources. Um, we need to work together on this difficult problem. The changes we've made in regards to the recommendations for the research is installing an electric fence to keep the cattle away from the plant, the new vegetation that's been planted, and setting up a solar water system from the creek so that the cattle aren't um, wrecking the bed, the banks of the river. Trying to replant Alberta's natural plants by the riverbank so that more fish and animals will survive. It makes me feel like I'm doing something like for my city and it makes me feel good. I think that it's important to remember that this has always been here and it's actually a big part of everything in the world and so I think that um, and it can't do by itself so if we help it um, we could really just make the world a better place too, which is kind of cool.